Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and I'm sure you are all aware Paul Pogba has completed his move to Manchester United for 89 million. It could potentially rise to 92 million if Paul Pogba signs a new deal after his five year deal expires or he's sold for over 50 million. Now, I'm not bothered about the price as I'm sure every Manchester United fan or most Manchester United fans are and we shouldn't be, rightly so, but that seems to be a huge talking point as you would expect because it's a world record transfer of course 89 million beats the 85 million that Real Madrid paid for Gareth Bale but of course that's what rivals are obsessed with so the fee 89 million is Pogba worth it well on the pitch is he worth it with just his performances? Probably not. Even in this day and age, you know, 89 million, it's very, very hard to justify that if it was purely down to his performances on the pitch. Any player, I'm not just talking Pogba, no matter how good you are, even Ronaldo Messi at this stage in their career with how old they are, 89 million, if it was purely for performances on the pitch, probably not. But it's not performances on the pitch that we're paying this for. Well, that's stupid. Of course it is. Of course it is. But it's not just that. And it's not just the commercial benefits that we'll get from this Pogba sign. He's a superstar. He's one of Adidas's cover boys. They're going to be delighted with this, as well as Manchester United. The amount of revenue we're going to make back just from that. But it's not just that. It's the fact that for the first time in living memory, we have beaten Real Madrid and Barcelona to a superstar player that is about to hit his prime. He's 22, no, he's 23 actually. He was in World Team of the Year. Now, of course, Angel Di Maria was, and then he moved to Manchester United. He was a big name as well, but Real Madrid were happy to get rid of him. Same as Meza Ozil, he was a huge name as well, but they were happy to get rid of him. They still had Bale, they still had Ronaldo, they still had Benzema, they still had Modric, they still had Cruz, like all these stupidly good players. That's why they got rid of Angel Di Maria, they just signed James Rodriguez, so he was available. Paul Pogba was not available this summer. He he was unattainable, shall we say? That's what everyone was led to believe. He was the best player for Juventus. There's debate with that. It, you know, Benucci, Buffon, Dybala all performed very well, but Pogba was the um, their player of the year. Like he was voted that. So yeah, anyhow, he was at a team who just gone to the Champions League final. Who won the league four times in a row and he was their best player there he was their key player and we've managed to pry him away and we've blown Real Madrid and Barcelona out the water with the fee that we've paid 89 million we had to do that his first choice was Real Madrid of course he would have went there if Real Madrid had been able to afford it but the simple fact is they couldn't so he's come back here and he's going to be here for a very very long time and yeah that's only one of the reasons as I say it, it's it's a player that's about to hit his prime. It's it's great for the Premier League because for once we've got a player. Uh, we've got several world class managers in this league, but the players generally are all in La Liga, the best ones. So the fact that we've managed to pry Pogba back without Champions League as well is crazy. And this is just the start. People are looking at this deal. Oh, 89 million. It's overpriced. This is just the start. I mean. <laughs> If we somehow fail to get Champions League now, then yeah, there's something seriously wrong. I don't think there's any chance of us failing to get Champions League now. So, seeing that we do next season, we get Champions League. We've got Pogba, Zlatan signs his second year that he's got in his deal, uh, the option to extend it. We've obviously got Eric Bailly coming in uh, to Prime. We've got Henrik Mkhitaryan, we've got you know all these youngsters, Rashford, Shaw, we've got De Gea, of course, we've got Martial. All these youngsters, we've, we've got that in the core of the team. We've got Champions League, assuming that we get it next season. Who are we going to sign? Like, this is just the start. We've, we've managed to pry Pogba away, so we can attract big names. We had four targets this season without Champions League, and we've acquired all four. That's how insane this is. Of course, we wanted Renato Sanchez, but that was prior to Mourinho arriving, so we didn't get him. And there's numerous reports of why and all that. So we turned our attention to Pogba, who I prefer. No matter how good Renato Sanchez is, he's 18. And um, Pogba's proved it like a lot more than Renato Sanchez because he's five years older. But anyway, aside from that, we've got the four players that we've wanted. So what are we going to do next season and the season after? We're going to go out and we're going to spend and we're going to get the players that we want. We're going to acquire the world's top talent bring them into our team and become a force again 
and then the Premier League will take bragging rights from La Liga. This is the start of it. This is the start of a snowballing effect. The Premier League has an abundance of money. We have the best managers in the world now. We're missing like Diego Simeone and chances are he'll probably go to Arsenal next season. So we'll probably have the collective bunch of world-class managers. So, you know, what? it's just going to be incredible when the players start following as well because of this Premier League money. And Pogba's the first of many, in my opinion. Not just us, I'm sure a lot of other player, uh, teams can sign, but I'm only interested in what we can do. And if we can do this without Champions League, imagine what we can do with Champions League. So yeah, Pogba, in the whole package, is worth way more than £89 million to this club. It's also what he's worth to your team. Our team makes over £500 million a year, so £89 million is less than 20% of our annual turnover. It's nothing, and we're paying this over two years, so we're paying £44.5 million each year. We're not paying Raiola's fees, so this is just this is just a dip in the pond for us, really. Like it's nothing. So for us, he's worth a hell of a lot more than eighty nine million, and uh, I'm just I'm just delighted. A world class midfielder, something we've been missing since Roy Keane left. Big statement signing, completing a wonderful transfer window. Well, it might not be fully complete. Once some players go, you never know. We might bring in another centre back. But for now, I'm just over the fucking moon. Welcome back, Paul Pogba. Hashtag Pogback.